Hi everyone, I'm Stefan Kinnick and today is PHP for Dummies Day 9. Today we are going to be looking at the while statements. Okay, so I've got a file called index.php open in my PHP for Dummies folder which is located in my WAMP folder. The way, what we're just going to do now, we're going to open our PHP brackets and close them out. And we're going to declare a variable called number and we'll set that equal to 0. Now the way the while statement works, what you do, you type while and then in between the two brackets uh, you type in your condition and then uh, you type in your code to execute and then you close it out. Now you know, let's type out a condition involving our variable number. Let's say while our variable number is less than 10 echo a number is now and then add our number and add a full stop and of course we also have to increase the number variable number by one now the way we could do this we could either write number is equal to number plus one or you could simply type the variable number plus plus, which means plus one. Uh, let's go see how that looks like in Firefox. Okay, so as you can see, it's echoed it all out. The number is now zero, the number is now one, the number is now two, until the number is now nine. Um, so what it's done, it's actually taken, it's it's processed our variable number and asked and had a look and see to see if it was less than 10. So it echoed it out until it was 10 or more. Now it doesn't look very good now because we haven't added a break tag. So let's just go do that in, in Notepad++. Okay, so I'm not sure if I told you this before or not, um, but you can actually uh, put HTML and PHP using the echo uh, function. So all you do is write echo and in inverted commas you actually type in your HTML. So we'll just add a break tag, echo, here, and let's go see how that looks like. So as you can see, it's added our break tag successfully, and uh, well, that's it. Now let's go back to Notepad++ and test it out with a bigger number. Okay, so let's say instead of less than 10, we put less than 1000. Let's just see if that works, just for argument 6. Okay, so it's done exactly the same thing, except now it's gone all the way down to 1000. Okay, so that's uh, PHP for Dummies Day 9. Uh, I hope you've learned a lot. Uh, today we've learned the while statements and how we can add a condition and then a code to execute if it's true. We've also learned that HTML can be embedded in uh, PHP. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed these videos, please feel free to subscribe to my channel.